there's Glintox. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, guys? All right, so this is gameplay from yesterday. It's Sunday right now. I have some sweet potato fries and chicken fingers waiting for me. <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Um, but yeah, this is from yesterday. I think I have like 26 hours in this game already. And I probably haven't done a main quest in 15 hours. <laughs> it's like mainly just wandering and fighting shit and doing side stuff. So I was on my way to do a main quest. And I saw this Ravager, so I figured I'd fight it. I'd kill it. Take its components, because I need the wires. I need the metal shards. I need the blaze. I need, I need shit. So you kill machines and you take shit you know you need the resources I'm gonna get into why I love the combat I just shot off something right there you know um but <laughs> I figured I'd fight that I'd fight the Ravager then go on and do my main quest and then another Ravager comes up and I'm like what the fuck you know I don't. Uh, Ravagers are still tough, even though I'm probably, I'm probably like over leveled, a little bit at the moment. So they're tough, especially when you fight two of them. But then you see on the side, three shell walkers, <laughs> or I, I don't know, I don't know their exact names. I just call them shell walkers, or I can call them crabs. <laughs> they just pop out of nowhere, and I, I guess they were in the area and they just heard all the commotion and came in so yeah the uh, ravagers are weak to fire which is why I'm wasting a bunch of fire arrows on them and the way I used the fire line earlier um but let me get into why I love love fucking love the combat in this game firstly I'm using fire arrows because they're weak to fire arrows that machine gun it's using, that is what I knocked off uh, the first Ravager. You know, th every machine has like weak spots. You know? And it just. You take out a weak spot and it changes the way. It changes the way you fight uh, machines. Like this enemy, I'm gonna override it so it's on my side but it's left hand does shoots like an electric ball that homes in on you if I don't want to fucking deal with it I can focus on getting rid of its left hand and that changes the way you know the fight it fight goes on it's right I mean you you saw the shield right there it has like a shield that's its right hand so if I'm like eh, the shields annoying I can try to take out the le the right hand you know, and that gets rid of the shield. <laughs> this gun I'm using is what I shot off the first Ravager. You know? So, it, it, I don't know, shit just... I fucking love the combat in this game. <laughs> you know, it's, it's fucking... It's satisfying. I'll say that. It's... I get like the same feeling when I'm... Playing Dark Souls, and I have the Uchi Katana. Those are scrappers. They just you kill a machine, and they just come in and start scrapping. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the combat. I hate the fall damage. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting to take that much damage, but then again, I wasn't expecting it to be that high up. You know, I I do that, fuck myself up. And then look up and I see a storm bird. I've seen them flying in the sky before. But I haven't fought one. I just... It, it was like the thunder jaw. I've like... Went by the thunder jaw a few times and... I'm like, shit. That thing's fucking huge. That thing's gonna be fucking tough. 
And then the one time I just decided, hey, let me fight it. You know? It took a few tries. It it took getting used to, but then, you know, I fought it and I didn't have a huge issue with it. I mean, they're still tough, but I can fight them and know I'm gonna probably going to beat it. <sighs> the Stormbird, I never fought it before. Boom. I dodge it. I know it does shock attacks, which you see. I mean, you can basically see from its wings. Like, there's like electricity all around it. Um, and let me get back to why I love the combat. Not only because of the weapons. See, for flying creatures, I try to use the rope caster. It ties them down. It, it makes uh, things easier. Even for like the big... I mean, for basically every machine. You know, I was using the rope caster for the thunder jaw too. But the combat is <laughs> it's shooting those fucking shock attacks. You you're gonna see like it has like some type of a shock shield. I don't know if it's a shield, I don't know if I would just take damage if I went in its bubble. But what I'm trying to do is shoot off its chest. Cause and that is where all of its electricity or shock attacks come from. And there's the bubble. I didn't want to get in it, but <laughs> yeah. But I fucking love the combat in this game. It's just... It's... I guess that it's satisfying. You know, you want to get rid of a ta an attack it does, then destroy that component. I don't know, it's like... And then I'm using traps. You know, I... It, this game is fantastic. You know, I'm using traps just to switch things up. Because it's like walking towards me. Tying it down so it's not flying away like a bitch. And there it goes. I just took out its chest piece. So now it's not going to be able to do any fucking shock attacks. So I don't have to worry about ranged combat. Well, I do. <laughs> I do a little bit. But it's not It's not like a projectile. I don't have to worry about any projectiles. I wonder... What I'm wondering is... How the fight would change if I used if I got rid of um, those highlighted spots in its wings, you know? Um, but yeah, the Stormbird. <laughs> I think the Stormbird looks fucking awesome. It's it looks cooler than the Thunderjaw to me at least, and it's a tougher fight because mainly for the Thunderjaw you. Sh um, you shoot his disc launcher, and you pick it up, and you can just blow it away. You could take, if you freeze the Thunderjaw, I think which I did in my last video or whatever, if you freeze it and use his disc launcher, you can probably kill it in one go. But yeah, this is the Stormbird. <laughs> it's crazy because... This is a tough machine, but then I'm like figuring I'm still early in this game despite having so much hours in it. There's going to be more machines that are a lot tough. They're a lot more tougher. I don't know, my buddy Magic. I don't know, I think he beat the game or he's right at the end. The way he talks about some machines is it's scary. I think there's one that like digs underground or something. I don't know, but I mean they all have weaknesses. They all have things you can exploit, which is fantastic. So I'm like excited for a sequel. I'm not, I haven't even beaten the game yet, but just thinking about uh, different machines that get like introduced. Maybe a gorilla. Maybe a. Uh, wolf, you know, maybe like a dog-like machine. Hmm. 
maybe something you can actually like override a storm bird and mount that. You know? Just use it to fly across the fucking world. Because right now I think there's only three mounts in the game. And they all... I mean, they're all basically the same. So, yeah. That was uh, Stormbird. I beat it. I, mean, I don't think... Well, I died once from a Stormbird. <laughs> um, so, I think I fought two. I've died once. But they've both been long, lengthy... Tough fights where <laughs> um, after the fight I have like no health potions. I have no extra health. Fight or run. Oh, and speaking of, oh, I was talking about combat. You see that huge explosion? This is a long leg. Um, they're not super hard, but one of their weak weak points is a uh, that canister. Which is a shock electric. So you shoot it with an electric arrow, and that happens. You know, some enemies have a freeze canister, some have a blaze canister, which is fire, of course, and it explodes, which is what you saw in the Stormbird fight. Uh, once I was able to hit out of the canister with the fire arrow, but yeah, combat's fantastic. I love the game. Uh, maybe I'll upload more. When I get my ass kicked from <laughs> the tougher, uh, more bigger machines. So, peace. I'm going to enjoy my sweet potato fries.